My family spends every summer in Cousins Beach with my mom's best friend and her two sons, Conrad and Jeremiah. They've always seen me as a little kid. But this summer... See you guys later. It's different. Damn. You look hot. Stop flirting with my sister. Hey, dude, dude, focus. Lola, can you tell me a little bit about how you came on board, the audition process, what you had to go through to become Belly? Yeah, um, I was at school uh, in Pittsburgh in my first year at Carnegie Mellon when I got the audition for the show. Um, and I filmed the self-tapes in my apartment with my roommates and submitted them. And then uh, soon after, heard back that I that they uh, wanted me to test for the role. So I was doing it all all over Zoom, everything, every callback, every chemistry read over Zoom uh, from, my, <laughs> from my little Pittsburgh apartment. And um, yeah, that was a, a little while of, of Zoom callbacks and things. And then eventually uh, Jenny and I Zoomed uh, after <laughs> after I think it was like a month of I think callbacks so. or mm -hmm. so, and she she delivered the news to me that that I uh, that I was gonna play Belly, and I was so thrilled and excited, and um, that's kind of, yeah, that's kind of how it happened. Do you remember what your audition scenes were? I do. Can I talk about mm -hmm. those I think now? you can talk yeah. about that, yeah. yeah. Um, they were mostly scenes from, from the first episode, or only scenes from the first episode, I think. Um, the, the main, the audition the, the, scenes. Yeah, the scene with her and Taylor. Audition. Yeah, was which is the first the scene first in the scene. show, <laughs> I think. And then um, it was a scene with uh, Conrad when the Belly's pool. in the pool. Yeah. yeah. And he's, he's smoking and she's um, reprimanding him a little bit. But <laughs> really fun to do those scenes and to, um, you know, I remember doing them with Chris and with Rain who play uh, Conrad and Taylor. So it's really cool to like see, you know, how far we've all come from those initial auditions. As the leading man in Belly's life, how do you feel she acts this season? I think she acts appropriate for her age. I think, at least as an outsider, as not Conrad, I think when you're 16, you um, are emotional and you do things that are mistakes. You make right decisions, you hurt people, you love people, you just feel really big feelings. And I think, yeah. Yeah, I think it's easy to say now, like being in our 20s, like, oh my gosh, what is she doing? But in reality, like we've all been 16, 17, and we all have made those mistakes and, and those, you know, created those problems in our lives. And uh, I think it's sometimes it's easy to kind of be like, oh my gosh, but in reality, like, you know, she acted based on her own heart and, you know, that's, that's what's important. So I think it stayed true to uh, how a lot of teenagers really uh, behave and act. To be honest, man, I think she might be handling it a little bit better. <laughs> I know, you know, a lot of kids, 16, 17, they got two attractive, good-looking dudes after them. You know, there's, it, that, that's hard. And, and, and her ability to, to not choose both and mess up both people is uh, <laughs> uh, appreciated. Jenny, how weird is it seeing these sort of stories you've had in your head for so long, like, just come to life the way that they do? It's just mostly just really um, fun and exciting and... Um, yeah, I mean, like, I think I'm just like, have anticipation now, like waiting because the fans have been waiting for so long for this adaptation. Um, so I'm just like keeping my fingers crossed that they love it and they, they feel satisfied. And um, yeah, we and we got already renewed for a second season. So we'll just get to keep going. With <laughs> Um, one of the main like things that I found amazing that you sort of incorporated into the show is um, for an edit is uh, Jeremiah's sexuality. Um, how involved were you in making that decision to make that sort of shift and how will that come into play in later seasons? Well, I can't give you any spoilers, but I can say that, um, you know, I really did try to approach this adaptation um, as if I was telling The Summer I Turned Pretty for the first time in the current time in, in 2022. Um, and I thought that was a really good opportunity for the character where I think if I was writing it now, I, I probably would have done that because I think Jeremiah is really um, comfortable in his own skin and he's at ease with himself. Um, and he's still very much, you know, figuring out who he is and, um, you know, what he likes. And the characters are quite young. He's only 16. And I think this younger generation to me feels um, a bit more free in terms of um, labels and um, um, putting themselves in like distinct groups. 
one of the major changes in the show that's different to the book is obviously Jeremiah's sexuality and how that's incorporated into the story. Could you tell me a little bit about how were you aware of it from the get-go? Like, how do you feel about that as part of a character trait? And yeah. Yeah, yeah you know what? I think uh, Jimmy did a great job at updating uh, the script into, you know, current day. And I think that was so important and just, um, you know, making it relatable. I feel like it was, it was such an important part uh, to, bring into the show just because of, you know, the world we live in today and, and it wouldn't do it justice. And, uh, you know, honestly, I, I just, I'm honored to be a part of, you know, uh, exploring that and, and having that on the film. And, and I'm just honored to uh, be exploring that with Jeremiah. And, you know, uh, I think just did, Jenny did a great job at keeping the script updated and, and making Jeremiah a little more, you know, how he would be today. So, yeah. yeah. With that, I mean, season two is already confirmed, so it's we know that the trouble's not over between everyone. Um, what do you want to see happen going forward? I kind of want to see a lot of the stuff from the books. I'm really curious to see how much of that makes it into the script, because I loved the, how different those two worlds feel, like the first book and the second book are very different sort of experiences. And, Obviously, you can't have one without the other, but I'm curious to know how much of that will be there. I think just as much as we're actors in the show, we're all fans of the book. <laughs> and again, like, you know, you know, I'm not going to throw out specific, you know, like the prom scene, all that stuff from book two. And it's, and and I know it'd be, it'd be a joy for us to kind of do. Yeah. yeah. Can we talk a little bit about Taylor Swift for a little bit? Mm. And how amazing it is that you have her back up and then I'll stop. I need to finish. <laughs> That'll be my last question. How involved did you get? Did she, were you with getting her involved? Uh, I, you know, from the very beginning was keeping my fingers crossed, like hoping and praying that we could get um, one of her songs on the show. And I never imagined that we could get more than one song. So I think it's just been like an incredible gift that was given to me that I feel like now I get to give um, to the fans of the show who have always wanted her music on the show. As someone who's read the books, there's definitely a couple of things I'm really curious to see how <laughs> play out on the show, even though I can't talk about it too, even though I want to. <laughs> One of the things, it was a very small, but very particular scene I feel for me that I felt was quite powerful, even if it was a little understated, was um, Stephen's, um, it, there was a scene in the country club where you had to sort of grapple with like this casual racism of like, these middle class people and how important do you think it was to have something like that that is such a serious topic brought into a show that is for like a teenage audience and how do you feel personally about sort of experiences like that? I think it's extremely important to add it in um, especially to a show like this because uh, Cousins I think in general is like in the show is such in Belly's mind and it's this romantic is romanticizing of this situation and the beach house and everything. And I think it's important to remember that, especially when it comes to stuff like racism and microaggressions and stuff like that, that like it just doesn't go away. It doesn't, it doesn't stop when you're in a fantasy. Like it doesn't stop in any certain point or moment. And I know for myself, uh, I've experienced, you know, like racial uh, attacks verbally or physically. And I've learned to shrug it off and let it go, but I know for myself that it's very important to add as a show because I want maybe that little five-year-old Asian boy or girl to not shrug it off and to not have it be at all. You know what I mean? So uh, I thank Jenny very much for the opportunity to just kind of bring it to life, you know?